Hi, my name is Abdali, and in this video we'll be looking into how to test the BLE, the Blinky example, or the BLE Blinky example in the NN5 SDK. So, before the, to doing that, you first need to have a development kit. I will be using the NN5240 development kit. You also need to have the NNF command light tools installed, and you need to download the NN5 SDK. I will be using the version 16.0.0. But you can also use this, uh, the, the latest version, which is here, the 17.0.2. Also, you need to have an IGE. I will be using the Sigre Embed Studio. Okay, now in the NN5 SDK, where you have unzipped your uh, download version, here in version 16, you can locate the examples folder, then Billy Peripheral folder, then Billy App Blanky. Blinky. Then I will be using the N the N5248 development case. So I'll be using I'll be I'll choose the PCA156 folder. Then S140. This example uses a soft device, and the soft device name is S140. And then the, the IDE folder. And then you you launch this file here. This should launch the Sigma Embed Studio with the with our project launched. Then in the main .c file, here it is. Okay, let's first test this this this, this example without. In the build, in the build menu, you look at the build and the run. With your uh, development kit attached, it should be. It should the Sigma Embed Studio should will and run your application successfully. And there it is. And there it is. As you can see here, the 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 LED one is on. This LED is uh, as you can see here in the in the in the main .c file. It is indicating the advertising the Billy advertising so the board is advertising okay so to test the Billy part of the project you're gonna need some applications like here just one second please Okay, here it is. Okay, so we can use other applications. This is the Billy part, like the NNF Connect or the Billy Scanner. There are more other apps, but but those are the good ones. I like them to use. I like to use them more. Okay, so let's uh, use the NNF Connect, which is uh, from the Nordi. Okay, here it is. It is already started scanning, and you can see here it it has selected the, our board, and this is the name name of the board. It is Nordic Blanky, and this is where it comes from. The device name. That is. Okay, let's connect to that board. And here it is. This is our services. This is the generic access. This is the generic attribute, and this, this is our the the custom service, the custom Billy service used in this in this example. This is a Blinky example, so we'll be just in the uh, this is, we'll, be, we'll have the Blinky feature. So this is the button in the Nordic. LED button service. This is the button the characteristic, and this is the LED characteristic. So the button characteristic is a notify has the read and notify properties, and you can you can enable the notification on this characteristic by using this button here, like a notification number. You can disable it to this button, and this is the LED. The LED characteristic has only the read and the write properties. So you can read from this characteristic or write to it. Okay, let's give it a test. So in this example, uh, the the bu the button here in this characteristic is this one. You can see here lead button uh, lead button button. This is the BSP button zero. So what? So in this application, if we press, if we enable the notification of this button characteristic. With this button here, if we press this button here on the board, you can see. Uh, 
if it is pressed, the, the value indicates that the button is pressed. If it is released, the button, the, the value of this character and it, uh, says that it is released. It is pressed, it is released. But if we disable the notification, it should not. The value will, will not change, even if we uh, press or release the button. Then I'm pressing it and releasing it. Nothing. So you need to enable notifications to receive these values. Okay, now for the LED characteristic, which uh, has the properties read and write. And if you can see, this is uh, in this example the LED button LED. It is the the BSP board LED two. And here, if you can see, the LED starts from zero. So th this this will be the LED three, the third LED. So uh, one, two, three. Okay. So. Uh, if we so in this characteristic if you want to read to write you need to press this button this is for writing and this one is for reading so for example for reading this is f uh, it's an invalid value it's the first example like, it's the when the application started it doesn't know the value of the of this LED characteristic okay so let's uh, write to it first let's make it on Turn on the LED, and here it is. Let me let's see. And here it is. It is on. It is on now. Let me see if we can turn it turn it off with the characteristic. Here it is in this one. And here it is. Let's rise. Let's make it off. Send. And it should be off now. And here it is, our LED is off. And it is with the button, the button has the notify and read properties. So you can, uh, for example, if you press the button, it show press it. If you release it, it should release it. But this is uh, only working when the uh, notification, when the notification of the service is enabled. Okay. I think that's it for example and we'll be looking more deeply in this example in the next videos. Thanks for watching.